Hello everyone, it's me Clayton. I just finished watching the second season of Beastars. Now when it comes to CGI in anime, it's very clear that CGI hasn't been handled well in a lot of anime. To the point where basically the reaction that I hear from most people when they hear that CGI is going to be implemented into an anime adaptation is that they drop the series as fast as possible. But to be fair, there are a decent amount of good CG anime, and that's especially the case with the ones that come from Studio Orange. And the first season of Beastars back in 2019 not only had good animation despite the seed use of CG, but it also happened to have great characters, an interesting story, a cool world, and was generally a, a way to combine the anime fandom and the furry fandom together. But now, two years later, we finally get the second season released on Netflix, and I can t safely say that this is an improvement over the first season in every single way, and that it, everything that worked in the first season also works here, but there's even more stuff to like about it. Let's get to the story, shall we? The story takes place immediately after season one, where Legoshi still has to find out who is responsible for the devouring that took out Tem. All while Lewis has has essentially joined the ranks of the Shishigumi, and when we learn when we meet a few new characters in this world, as we learn more of the intricacies of of, the, of this world of talking animals, and see how it happens to compare to a lot of the other stories that we've seen with the same setup. Now, I really do believe that this season does get more into the get gets more into the characters that we already know, as in it shows them in a new light and gives them some new depth that actually makes them like me like them more. Lego Shi and Lewis get a ton of that, of course, as they get to both they both get to be in new environments that I didn't expect them to be in. Lego Shi gets to have a bit more action this season as he gets to be taught by Gosh Gohin and get to uh, and he gets to be a little bit of a vigilante this season. And Lewis gets to, you know, be a herbivore in a position of power that is very rare for someone like him. You know, to be the head of the Shishigumi and to put them in a new direction. And the, all that stuff is some stuff I really like the setup for. I really like how that's handled. They also give more stuff for Juno to do. And I think her story is really interesting. And and I honestly think she might end up being a decent B-star if she, she ends up getting close to that in Season 3. Also, the new characters that they introduce are pretty cool, too. There's this six, there's this six-eyed snake who who only gets to show up a bit at the start of the season, but I really like how, how they handle her. There's this new... There's this new goat character named Pina, who... He's, you know, it's kind of a typical anime pretty boy when, it's, when he shows up, but he does have a lot of really good moments in his own right. And especially when we find out who's responsible for the death of Tem, I won't spoil who that person is, but I really think they handled their story pretty well. As in, there's a legitimately pretty good reason for why it happened. It's uh, actually something that serves the themes of the story pretty well, and they make for a really emotional and really suspenseful finale as well. Despite the fact that it's 12 episodes and, you know, each about a half hour long, the season just flies by even more this season than I think the first one. Probably because these characters are so likable and so well written to the point where I actually find myself finding the episodes a bit fast for me because of how invested I am in them. And with how the season ends, I'm very interested in how season three will go, if we're getting that. So... I actually think when it comes to animation, storytelling, and these new characters, that this is the best that Beastars has been in a long, t in a long time. That's why I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. See you next time.